in someone with autism, there's much more activity in the visual parts of the brain at the back rather than in the frontal lobes. They don't necessarily think in words. So they're thinking visually, spatially, and that that might be part of their strength. So I've got various things here. Are you happy to try some of these tests? Yeah. If I can set this up, we have six compartments. Yeah. And the idea is that if we just take one match away, can you make another kind of pattern where there are six compartments? The matchstick test is a test of logic and problem solving for someone who thinks in a very visual way. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Going for a different shape. Wow. This is very interesting. Is that six? I think that is, isn't it? Yeah, that's six. Yeah. And so you've kind of turned it into more like a hexagon yeah. of six triangles. That's fantastic. Incredibly fast. And uh, just to tell you, I couldn't do that. I had to look up the answer, but you did it on your own. People with autism shouldn't be underestimated. They might see things in a fresh way and that that could be really valuable in the workplace.